And that is our visit to what's on my good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are at Portisham Dairy Campsite, I think it's called Portisham, probably saying that all wrong, but. Yes, and here we are at the Portisham Dairy Farm Campsite, situated to the northwest of Weymouth. We wanted a couple of nights away at a new site, so this became our site of choice. Let me show you around. We are at Portisham Farm Dairy Farm Campsite. Yes, as mentioned, we are staying at Portisham Dairy Farm Campsite to the northwest of Weymouth. We entered from the north through the village of Portisham. The roads are pretty decent to the approach, so there's no squeezing down any narrow lanes to get here. Although, depending on where you're coming from, your sat-nav, if using one, may take you down some smaller roads for the more direct approach. As you enter in today's day and age, it was a contact-free check-in. Our pitch number was emailed before arrival, and as long as you gave your reg number and it was recognised, the barrier opened and you could go straight to your pitch. Just be sure to wait for the green light and off we go. And we are looking for pitch 56. Here we are. So here we are at Portisham Dairy Campsite, I think it's called Portisham, probably saying that all wrong, but this is our pitch. Pretty good pitch. Good morning, we are at Portisham Farm Dairy Farm campsite and I'm going to show you a quick walk around the site now, starting with the entrance, the small reception and then as we go through the park I'll explain as I go. Here is the small reception area, more on that in a moment. And the toilet and the shower block to the right here. As you can see, the pictures are a decent size and you will notice there are a few caravans with no cars. This is because people do have permanent pictures here so they can park the caravan and visit whenever they like. And up ahead on the right here, you see those green porter cabin huts. They are additional toilets, uh, which are nearer this end of the campsite. Not quite as posh as the other ones, but still more than functional. And here is the play park. It's quite small, but Max had a great time playing with some other children that he met in there. So again, good fun for the kids. Let's continue around. This end of the site, there are a few grass pictures in the middle. They're closer together, but they're still um, decent size and, and more than adequate. You've got your own space around you, so still pretty good. And again, some nice big pictures at this end of the site as well. And you can, we may be able to see our camper van up ahead, meaning we have come virtually full circle around the whole site.
This is the main shower block and these are some of the nicest showers and toilet facilities we have ever used in the campsite. An owner with a permanent pitch told us that they've just been refurbished and they did a great job. The touchless taps that you can see here are great, particularly in today's day and age. And of course, being before May the 17th, I couldn't review the showers, but I can't imagine there would be an issue when you look at everything else that they've done here. Again, a great job at refurbishing these taps. Um, could be a little bit awkward to operate at first, and I did get the hang of it off camera. You basically have to wave your hand in front of the middle of it to, um, to turn it on and off, and the smaller outside buttons adjust the temperature so like I say a bit fiddly but once you get the hang of it which we did pretty clever there are two or three of these dotted around all pretty basic but definitely fit for the job we don't need to use them though um, as the toilets are open but they seem pretty standard now there wasn't really one to speak of. Um, the contact list check-in meant that we didn't have to visit the reception on arrival and the shop really didn't sell much more than snacks and ice cream. So come prepared because you're not gonna find anything on site here. Well, just down the road is the King's Arm pub with a great beer garden and pretty scenery here. We were in the marquee for pizza because that's pretty much all they did at the moment and just next door is also a farm shop which was closed unfortunately when we were passing and further afield you have Chesil Beach which is a great shingle beach not far from the site um, the Rodwell Trail which is great for walking or cycling and of course Weymouth which is only 20 minutes by car but more on those places in an upcoming video And that is our visit to, what's on my eye? Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Seamless and that, it's like, yeah. such a good yeah. edit, gives you <laughs> such a quality production we put on here, isn't it? Um, so that is, <laughs> so that is our stay at Portisham, is it? Port Portisham. Portisham Dairy Farm Campsite. And I think we liked it. In Portisham. In Portisham, near a dairy Just farm. Just the other side of Weymouth. Yep, we liked it. Very nice. It's good. It was good. Pictures are good, decent size, a lot of yeah, space in between. Yeah. Toilets are amazing, as you've seen. Uh, all the uh, high tech stuff in the washing up thing, isn't yeah, there? With the I mean, swipe no. things and touch buttons and stuff. Uh, yeah. Everything's clean. We couldn't use the showers. Couldn't use the showers, obviously, because it's before May the 17th. Yeah. But they've also got a drive over, um, which you don't see everywhere, drive over dump station thing so if you want to empty your tanks so we are going to empty one of ours now we've only got one um, we're going to empty our wastewater over it which would be a novelty for us everyone seems friendly yeah, yeah. Max has made some friends so it's a family no, site uh, no noise no noise neighbors. like we've had at the um the last campsite that mm, we yeah. filmed not too far away from weymouth pub down the road weymouth. oh yeah pub down, pub down the, the road, road. um and if you want to go to Weymouth, it's not too no, far. No, it's 15 minutes in the car. And probably the other direction. It's not too far to go to uh, the bay. Uh, what's West Bay? West Bay. Yeah, I don't know how far it is that way. A bit further, not that probably, far, but... actually. In fact, what I would do um, is I would put Yeah, so I think there's about... Bay. Probably about 100, maybe 70 or 80 Everyone pictures here. I'm not entirely sure. sure. Uh, but it was good. I think we will consider coming back West here bay again. West Bay report, haven't it? 21 minutes. 21 minutes, here. that's all to West Bay, which is West obviously really Broad nice. Church World. Uh, so I think we'll come back. It is a good site, friendly people. There's no shop or anything. It's just like a kiosk with but there's a sweets farm and stuff. Shop there's a farm the shop just across the road next to the pub. So that's it. That's us at Portisham. And thank you for watching. Hope you found that review useful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Already, and we'll see you next time, yeah? Yeah. Bye. Au revoir. Bye bye. bye. bye.